Guys, I have done it! I have stolen an old lady's glasses! Ooh, I'm so old! Wow, truly incredible! Are you kidding me? This idiot again? That poor old lady! I'm so cool stealing from the elderly! One day later. Did you hear about Jake? He seems to have mysteriously disappeared. Oh no, Nova, we have to find him! Are you serious? Why? He's done nothing but be annoying and steal glasses from old ladies. We don't even know him. Because it's the right thing to do! I think you mean because this dumb comic needs a plot. What was that? Besides, how are we even going to find him? It's not like we have any clues. Look! On the floor! A map! Well, that's awfully convenient. Almost like the author couldn't think of a better explanation for us to know where he is. This is perfect! Let's go! Did you hear a word I just said? Is this seriously a montage page? I mean, come on! Are we not even going to get an explanation for what these things are? If this was an actual book, and not just some 10th graders school project, each of these panels probably could have been made into their own chapter. After a long month of perilous adventuring, we finally reached the end of our quest! You mean after a one-page montage of nonsense? Alright, whoever's in there, open up this door and give us back that annoying kid from school so that we can do the right thing! And so this comic can finally be over! My condolences to the artist's hand! Hello, sweetie! Or, sweeties! Or, are you even people? I can't tell without my glasses! Say, how would you like to come in and get some cookies? <coughs> um, do you happen to have kidnapped any teenagers recently? Oh, well as a matter of fact, I have! Some rotten teens stole my glasses, you see! So he's in the shame cage until he gives them back! Wait... So you're the old lady he mentioned at the beginning of the story? That's seriously how we're doing this callback? This is so stupid! <laughs> um, so anyway, I don't really know what she's talking about, but can you maybe let us in so we can talk about this? Of course, dearie! What's going on? Also, aren't these bars big enough for me to walk through? Why don't I just do that? It's comic logic, don't question it. Hey, I'm free! Get back in the shame cage, you saving member of Gen Z! <laughs> okay, Boomer. Jake, just give her the glasses back so she lets you go. No, then no one at school will think I'm cool. Then they would be right. Hey! Guys, it's fine. There's a glasses shop right outside. We can just buy new glasses for the old lady and then she can let Jake go. There was definitely not a glasses shop drawn next to this house before. Yes, there was. Poof! Well, it doesn't matter anyway because I don't want any of these new fangled glasses. I want my old ones back. Okay, fine. Then how about Jake gives the glasses back to the old lady, and we buy Jake new glasses so that he can still say he stole them from an old lady. Fine! Are we just not going to talk about how the artist just drew a glasses shop in so we would have a convenient solution? Either that or may just warped reality, which is not a power she has. Young lady! You really need to stop breaking the fourth wall! By you pointing out that I'm breaking the fourth wall, are you not also breaking the fourth wall? Hey, you're right! Am I... self-aware? And so, May bought Jake new glasses so that he never had to learn his lesson. The old lady got her glasses back and never got an actual name because the author didn't feel like giving her one. And Nova bonded with the old lady over their shared sentience. The end. Finally, it's over! And wait, did the narrator just mention the author? Is he self-aware too?